doctors have diagnosed more than 5 million children ages 3 to 17 with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. That's according to the Centers for Disease Control. Until now, there's been no objective screening for the disorder, but the FDA recently approved the first test to measure symptoms. Here's more. Dr. David Jaffe fits Cameron Fraser's head with a piece of equipment. FRA. As Cameron settles in for about 15 minutes of computerized testing with the quotient ADHD system. It measures um, hyperactivity, impulsivity, and um, attention or inattention. The patients use the keyboard to select correct targets. Their best effort gives doctors insight into their capabilities. The data is actually recorded uh, down to the millisecond and sent to a database that has uh, well over 5,000 cases uh, to compare it to. And then compared to the same sex and the same age, the data is then returned in a seven-page report. A measurable report, not just someone's opinion. Before this test, Dr. Jaffe says the only way to diagnose a child with ADHD was through interviews with the patient, parent, and potentially a teacher. Now this is concrete, and Dr. Jaffe says the beauty of it extends beyond the diagnosis. And then we can use it to help um, perfect the, uh, the dosage of medication and the treatment plan that we use. 130 doctors in the United States now use the system, but Dr. Jaffe says like most good tests, it still needs to be interpreted. Uh, there are times when you can look at the report and you go, well, it's absolutely clear this person has ADHD. There are other times you look at the report and say, Boy, in spite of everything the parent said, this is not ADHD. I need to do something else here. I need to look further. Something physicians say is now a lot easier, thanks in part to the simple test. Coming up next Sunday, hear from a parent who says the quotient ADHD system helped her son become successful in school and gave her peace of mind. <laughs>